Okay, here I'm going <clears> to <throat> redo that um, quadratic problem that we did in class. So in this first part, I'm just going to get it to the sine of alpha part, and then I'll do a second video where we do the inverse sine function. But all right, so when you look at this, the main issue is you have two different functions here. You have a sine and a cosine squared. And so in order to deal with that, we need to get rid of the cosine squared and get it in terms of sine. So I'm just going to subtract um, sine squared of theta from both sides. Right. And so you can see that cosine squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared of theta. So right here I'm going to sub in 1 minus sine squared, I guess alpha in this case, minus 2 sine of alpha equals 0.9. All right. And so here I'm going to subtract my 0.9 over. So I have everything on one side equal to 0, just like we do in algebra. So my highest power is this sine squared of alpha. It's negative. Um, then I get my negative 0.2 sine of alpha. And then 1 minus 0.9 ends up being one positive 0.1. <clears throat> now, um, again, typically we don't like our leading coefficient to be negative here. So I'm going to multiply everything through um, by a negative. So this is going to become positive. That's going to be positive, And that guy is going to become negative. So I'm just going to rewrite this. So I get a positive sine squared alpha plus 0.2 sine of alpha minus 0.1 equals 0. <clears throat> now again, factoring with decimals does not appeal to me. I'm sure this is not factorable anyway. Um, but what I want to do is the quadratic formula. So my coefficient here is a 1, so a equals 1. Coefficient here is 0.2, so b equals 0.2. Coefficient here is c equals negative. So the opposite of b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac <clears throat> all over 2a. <coughs> now again, this tells you that x equals um, these two values. Now notice in this case, x is really a function. Um, x stands for sine of alpha. So when you're done, the decimals that you get are sine of alpha equals that decimal. Sine of alpha equals that decimal. Because we're basically treating all of this as x squared, all of this as x. All right, so let's sub in. We get, what, negative 0.2 plus or minus. Um, when you square anything, it's always positive, so don't ever put a negative in this spot right there because when you square it, it is positive no matter what. Minus 4a c all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Okay, so I get a negative 0.2 plus or minus, okay? And so go ahead, I'm gonna grab my calculator here. <clears throat> All right, so go ahead and take, what is that? Uh, 0.04 minus four times one and a negative 0.1. All right, and you should get 0. 0.44. So 44 hundredths divided by two. All right, so I want a negative 0. 0.2 plus that all of that divided by 2, and a negative of that um, plus, or sorry, the minus 1 this time, minus 0.44, square it, all over 2. Now again, if you're going to put this in your calculator in one swoop, you would have to put this in parentheses here, because you need an answer to that divided by 2, an answer to that divided by 2. So I'll go ahead and do this in a couple steps here. So a negative 0.2 plus the square root of, what is that, 0.44? All right, so I get 0.4633 dot, dot, dot. Again, don't round until the last step. Divide by 2, and then get approximately 2317. <clears throat> okay, same thing here. If you want to do it in one swoop, you need parentheses in your numerator, but I am going to do it in two steps here. So I'm going to take a negative 0.2 minus the square root of what? 0.44, 44 hundredths. Okay, I get a negative 0.8633, and again, I'm not going to clear my calculator. Divide by 2. All right, and this time I got approximately a negative 0.4317. Okay, now again, <clears throat> this is what the sine of x equals. So at this point in the process, I know that the sine of, or yeah, sine of alpha equals what? Um, 0.2317, okay. And the sine of alpha equals negative 0.4317. So this, at whatever um, 
alpha is whatever that angle is, this is the ratio. That's the sine value at that point. Whatever this angle is, that's the ratio at that location. All right, I'm going to do a second video for the second half.